Glyca is a multi-marker. So it has many things put together, composite. And when I look at the definition of what is Glyca, I can see that it's uh, infection and or inflammation. And now I've run this on a few people where their Glyca is very high. The normal should be below 300 when you get the lab back. And the lowest I've seen is 237. So let's just say 200 to 300. So the there's four things that it measures. Instead of testing all, you know, like a dozen things, you can just test Glyc A and see what comes up. See if your score is too high. If it's over 300, do something about it. So then I run a test for inflammation. That's the hypercoagulation panel, which you did a, you know, a series of questions with Ruth Chris about the hypercoagulability panel through LabCorp. So I run that. And yeah, that can show up very high because Glyc A is high. The other one is the, I run Cyrex Array 12, which measures 28 different infections. That includes a variety of species. So parasites and bacteria and mold and Lyme and viruses. So that's how I see Glyc A as inflammation and or infection. 